What's going on, guys, and welcome to the next episode of this Toronto Blue Jays position player road to the show series. Yes, I am still trying to work out my name on this one now that I am not with Kansas City anymore. Get off my back, people. Anyway, guys, we are playing the Rochester Red Wings in this series. We are going to have a little bit of cutscene telling me to keep working on my hitting. Yes, coach, whatever you say. Uh, as I just continue to hit here in Triple A International League, 25 hits over my first 11 games, 11 home runs. So I have now gone from hitting more than one home run per game to hitting one home run per game. Which I am completely okay with. Uh, that ballpark in uh, Paul Tuckett was a very big ballpark, I will admit. Uh, hopefully this one is not as rough on me and I'm able to hit some dingers. First pitch, long ball, very long, very far, gone! There it is, home run! And it is a relatively smaller park, as you can probably, as if you didn't see. It is 390 to dead central. Uh, it was 390 to the alleys in uh, Pawtucket. So, able to get that. Uh, Two-run shot is always good. Now we lead three to nothing. Runners on first and second with two outs here in the top of second. That one is just a chopper. I got on top of it, and that will end the inning. Hey, can't be all homers, right? Jack K is the batter for the Red Wings. As we get ready for this one, it is hit right to me in plenty of time. I make the catch for the first out on the bottom of the second. Uh, really just enjoying playing in Buffalo. If you have guys haven't noticed, uh, yes, I am still a little salty about Kansas City, but that's it. Really excited to be here now, uh, especially since I'm able to, you know, put the numbers up that I did before, as that's a three-run shot to tie it. Okay, then. That's cool, too. And now we're losing. That's also cool. Crap. <laughs> uh, help. Anybody? Somebody help me, please, as I make the catch to finally end the inning. The Red Wings score five times, one off of a three-run shot. Nothing I couldn't do because that was hit to the back of the bullpen, so I couldn't even climb the fence. Does that one hit far in my direction, and that one's going to be gone. Okay, then. Like I said, it's a small park. Our pitchers need to learn that it's a small park. We're down 8-3 to three in this game, first game of a three-game set. And now I'm just hitting grounders as that one's booted by the shortstop. And I'm there safely. What's it going to be? E6, I'm guessing. I'm guessing E6. They didn't say. They didn't say what that was. I'm guessing it's an error because he booted it. And again, I'm not. I'm the one that called it. So if they end up giving me the base hit, they gave me the base hit. But I don't think it is. So, and I'm okay with it. Like I said, that was a itchy all of a sudden. Maybe that's what happens when you sit down and just talk craziness to a camera for an hour at a time. Hour and a half at a time. So as that's a ground rule double. Oh, I'm really itchy. Okay. So now we are in position to at least make a dent in this game. And we do nothing with it. Wonderful. Oh, no. Christian Arroyo, Arroyo can still do something. Two outs, 0-2 oh, count. Okay, maybe he can. Looking for the strikeout. Here's oh, this the is wonderful. And he struck yep, strike three, end of the threat. Uh, the they get nothing off of that. Now with the 
Ground rule double. Uh, again, playing with a team that is obviously rebuilding and they don't have the farm system to help them is going to be a challenge if this is what I have to look forward to in Toronto. Ooh, they did give me a base hit. They gave me a single. Okay, then. Something different. <laughs> like I said, I expected E6. But it is what it is. That one is hit long. That is hit far deep. And off the wall. Going to be one run in. And two runs are going to score to cut the deficit down to three at eight to five. My sixth double of the year. That was just that much from being a two or three run shot. But. It is a two-run double, and that is going to end the inning as the left fielder makes the catch. No problems. And it is the bottom of the seventh with nobody out. Rochester up 8-5 to five still. That ball is hit well. That is hit far, but I have it in my sights as I make the running catch for the first out in the inning. And just hoping to limit the damage, as you might say. But, you know, if they keep wanting to do this, I can play this game too. And I make the catch here. I've only had like one or two really bad moments so far. And again, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's still early in the season. I have plenty of time to... Uh, for this to go south very quickly. And I am only a triple away from the cycle. I just realized that. Okay, then. That's not happening, but that might be a three-run shot. It is long far. It is gone. We tie the game. Oh, my goodness. We tie the game. Thank goodness. Home run number 13 on the year. 362 feet, 99.6 mile per hour. For the game time dinger, <laughs> it is, it is great. And now we have the lead. Oh my goodness! Great news. It was a disaster earlier on. Turned out to be great news as that's a base hit, but nothing more. As I got there in plenty of time to stop it from being extra bases. Runner, bottom of the ninth now, one out, still nine to eight. And I still can't get over the threat that we came all the way back. As I make the catch for out number two. And are we going to blow it or are we going to win this game? It's all down to this and we win the game. We win the game. Oh, my goodness. So I have 13 home runs on the year. Just looking to continue to contribute. Uh, hitting 7.07 on the year. All great news. Top of the first in the new game, and I missed that fastball. How do you miss a fastball like that? Well, when it's positioned low and away, and you don't want to hit the low and away ball because it's a grounder, that's what happens as the shortstop gets me out by half of a step for the second out of the inning. And now we are just continuing to play. Ah! You know, as I run and make the catch, he, it, no, I missed the ball. Oh, my goodness. As I was just talking about how I don't have a lot of errors, that is definitely an error on my part. Yep, E9, two-bag error. That is never good. And they capitalized on it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Redemption. Again, name of the season is Redemption. As we make the catch that time around, 
Justin no, Griffiths. He got on top of one. Looking to tie the game up. Nothing, Griffiths. nothing, or one nothing. Top four. That ball has just popped straight up to center field. He has plenty of time to make the catch. And so I'm 0 for 2 on the day, and we're now down 4 nothing. but... It is the seventh inning, looking to cut the lead in half with a home run here. Fouled it away. It's not quite out of play. And I get lucky that he could not get there. A uh, lot of foul territory, it seems, in Rochester. Just as there was in Paul Tuckett as I missed that slider. Really bad. Uh, it was very, very early. So 0 2 count here, just looking to put the ball in play. That is hit to the right fielder for the out. 0 for 3 on the day. I, I, I'm just shocked I'm 0 for 3. You know, it's. It's not anything else, it's just the fact that it's 0 for 3. It stopped the ninth. I have a hitting streak going. Whether it goes back to last season or not, I have a hitting streak this season uh, of at least 12 games. Or no, I'm sorry, 11 games. I sat out again. So I'm just trying to extend the hitting streak at this point, and I do. Thank goodness I do. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, I'll take that. We might not win the game, but I continue my hitting streak. That's all that matters at this point in time. I mean, obviously, we want to extend our winning streak to two, which we haven't. The bad thing is about it's not that this team can't win games. It's the fact that we can't string wins together, and that's vital if we're trying to win the series or get to the playoffs. As we score a run there, at least, to make it a three-run deficit. So the time run will come to the play in the ninth inning. Sweeney is 0 for 3, but so was I. It, he can get a base hit, knock in a run, and it's a deficit of two. Instead, he will get, do just that. He will do just that. He score a run, cut the deficit to two. And we win the game. We end up winning the game 5-4. to four. How good is that, my guy? And that will do it for the series. So I keep sitting out random parts of the game. I don't know why that is. I'm not going to complain too much because maybe that means that Toronto is that close to giving me the call that I am looking for. Anyway, guys, it will not be Paul Tuckett, even though you see Paul Tuckett on the screen. It will be Lehigh Valley, the Iron Pigs, in the next episode. Uh, we won that series, our first series win. Uh, and we're going in at 6-8, and eight, and Lehigh will be, you know, whatever... We'll face Paul Tuckett at 6-8. and eight. Uh, We will not be 6-8 and eight when we face Lehigh, you know, because, you know, grinding montage things. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.